So the mask mandates are back in California, yep. at least in the Silicon Valley area. I don't know if it's statewide. LA, LA as well. Okay, right. Um, although I'm happy to say that I recently mailed in my ballot to recall Gavin Newsom. That's good. So that felt good. I don't know. We'll see what the, how it out, how it comes out. But um, that wasn't what this was about. Um, it got me wondering, it's been a year and a half. Certain people are just obstinate about not getting vaccinated. And these variants are coming and it's continuing to be present. And I wonder, I mean, do you think there's a scenario in which the mask mandates just just don't go away? You know, if COVID isn't completely eradicated, that they just never let us go back to how it was. I'd, I'd never cross my mind until the mask mandates came back again. And I thought, you know, like we're, we're pretty much on a trajectory out of this thing, you, you know, not to where we were before. There's been damage done that's permanent probably to the culture and certainly to a lot of people's lives. Um, but I wonder, like, if... It might just um, it might just permanently do this sort of thing, you know, with the masks and the and the screening and the testing and you know some places might. Uh, I don't think it would be widespread. Uh, there's also there's also movement towards uh, you know mandating vaccines, and I think I think you're going to see that you're going to see pressure to do that, particularly now that the vaccines are being approved by the FDA. So I think the government has. Uh, who is going to claim more of a case uh, for this. Um, you're already seeing, for example, you can't go to a restaurant in uh, Puerto Rico uh, by, by law. This is not the restaurant demanding this. This is by law. You cannot go into a restaurant in Puerto Rico without either showing a vaccine or a negative test. Um, and that's going to be, that's true in most um places like restaurants, like uh, concert halls, places like that. Uh, there's going to be more and more of that by law, not as a choice. Uh, now, there's always going to be pressure against that from business owners. So I don't think it's going to last everywhere. There might be particular places around the country where it lasts, but because there is, there is a lobby not to do it because it hurts business. So people are going to lobby against it. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, the, the CEO of Pfizer the other day said that he wouldn't be surprised if we saw a mutation of the virus that was vaccine resistant. I mean, that would be pretty, uh, and, and well, it depends on how uh, dangerous that was, but you could also see the vaccine becoming more dangerous. Usually vaccines mutate to becoming less, but they it could mutate to become more dangerous. Um, there's a lot of things that could happen um, where things get, things get worse and they last for a very long time, much longer than any of us expected. I mean, I thought this would be over well over a year ago. I mean, I thought yeah. it would be in the summer of last year. Um, mm -hmm. and, 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 and it hasn't, it hasn't, this virus is not particularly seasonal. I mean, there's just a bunch of things about this virus that are not typical. And on top of that, because of the pathetic response of so many governments around the world, uh, this virus is allowed to spread. The more it spreads, the more it mutates, the more host it has, the more opportunities it has to mutate. Uh, the, the, the sooner you get a handle on it, the better. Now, I mean, Amish, last time I was at him on the show, said, we're just going to have to live with it. It's going to be here forever. And that means that in certain jurisdictions that are super risk averse, uh, where people are willing to tolerate things like masks, you might see mask mandates for a very, very long time, and maybe forever. I don't know. Hmm. It's, it's um, it, it, you know, why not, from the status perspective, why not use this as an opportunity to take more control? Whether you're left or right, it doesn't matter. What matters is control. So why not take more control? And, and if you think about it, even the governors on the right are taking more control by banning um, uh, school districts or, you know, usually Republicans are for let the smallest unit make decisions, let right. school districts make decisions about kids, let cities make decisions about their cities. But when it comes to COVID, no, no, the governor is going to decide for everybody um, that they can do these things, not for the right reasons, not for constitutional reasons, but for reasons of control. So all of them are using this to, to increase their control and to, and to, and to appease 
whatever constituency they have, what, whatever the constituency happens to be. So it's very depressing to see these things. It, it really is. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, just think about what would happen if this got really deadly. I mean, right now it's not that deadly. Oh man, it would just, the government would just- Well, imagine what would happen. This is the nightmare scenario. Imagine a virus that killed children. We'd literally be locked in our houses. It's just, it's hard to fathom at this point, uh, given, given how, how pathetic the response has been, how awful, you know, the whole system has been um, for a virus that is not that bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's not that bad. Um, Amish keeps saying, we were trained and we were practicing and we were ready and we were writing reports about the big one. The real killer one, the kind of the 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 the, the uh, Middle East uh, coronavirus, which 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 kills like forty percent or something, and and is yeah. luckily it's not transmittable. It doesn't transfer very easily, or or an Ebola-like virus. Um, we didn't think the whole system would collapse over something like this. Yeah, but it has. The whole system collapsed, and and because of of uh, you know horrific decision making from our politicians, but not just in the United States, throughout the Western world. Uh, all of the politicians, all of them throughout the Western world, uh, you know, blew this. Uh, the only people who got it right were the people like the Taiwanese and, and to some extent the South Koreans, uh, hmm. but almost nobody else. Well, you know, it's not depressing. Ocon, and I'm literally going to go pack right now. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So I'm thank already you very packed. much. I'm already and packed. And I will see you there. Excellent. Thanks, Debbie. See you there. Okay, Adam's going to be there, and uh, we've got a few, a few of our, uh, a few of our uh, super chatters are there. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it, but, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to hundred. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this, uh, and, and you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget if you're not a subscriber, even if you, even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then, uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on, you'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>